Okay, hey guys, this is my basic tutorial for connecting a PID unit to steer the temperature of your cast bullet pot, oven for coating bullets or for using a lubricizer. Uh, this is the basic schematic, uh, here's the PID unit, this is the solid state relay that is usually delivered with the PID. Uh, your basic power plug for the 220 volt grid and uh, here's your unit, your pot, oven or lubricizer. Uh, so basically what you do is that you take the power cord to uh, the unit you want to control, you cut it and then you hook this unit up between it. So um, just follow the schematic uh, that I crudely draw and you can then regulate your power. So the way this works is that it just clicks on or off based on the sensor. And the sensor uh, is a probe that you can see that are lined up with the power cord here. So the pot here has, uh, it, well, first of all, it's set on uh, max regulation. So it it's always uh, full power when it's on. And then it just goes on and off with a solid state uh, relay. Uh, so the, the probe uh, goes down into the melt. And this melt is, um, uh, well, you determine the, the temperature with the unit, uh, the PID. So just hook it in and then there are other tutorials uh, to set the temperature. So I like to, to set this temperature to something I like. So I've got uh, 398 degrees on my uh, Celsius on, on the melt, but then I would like 34 degrees for the lubricizer. So here I have another unit. This one uh, is, well, the, the other one, uh, the Rex C100, uh, and then we have here the STC1000. This doesn't have a solid state relay, so it's a bit simpler and it doesn't need the extra probe for the uh, higher temperature intervals. And this works pretty much the same. You just cut the power cord, connect it here, and then you want one of the uh, lines from the power cord to go to uh, steer into the heating uh, here. And the other part of the heating um, connector goes to the power supply connector so it switches on and off pretty much the same but without the SSR uh, on this lubricizer I drilled a hole in the back and then I put the probe in and then just sealed it with some glue and this one came with a uh, heater so if you don't have a heater you have to have to buy it for uh, your lubricizer for my cast bullet coating, I would I like to use this one a bit simpler than uh, the one for the pot. This one has instead of the pot has this connector, so I put plug the mini oven or toaster oven into this connector instead. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. So I'll uh, show you the schematic once more. As I said, here's the power plug, you connect the blue to one and then another from one to the blue of the power unit. Uh, the brown from the power plug goes to the solid state relay, connect to one. And the brown from the unit you want to control goes to two on the SSR. Then the PID needs uh, the brown connector as well, so another line from one on the SSR to two on the PID. To open and close the relay, the SSR needs to be connected with four to five and three to four. So remember this, not four to four, but three to four and four to five. Then here on 9 and 10 you connect the probe and that is here.
this is the probe. If you have any questions, just fill it out in the comment section. I'll try to explain it. I'm by no means an electrician, but I've managed to get these three to work and I've been using them for many years and get excellent consistent results on my cast bullets and the operations that we do after casting. See ya!